from the experiences that I've had working with, uh, with teams of teachers uh, in development of PBL uh, units and activities, first place I think that that's, that that's, a, that's not only the best way to develop curriculum, particularly this type of curriculum, which is tends to take time to develop and is and 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 has a, a lot of upfront time to really prepare it well to deliver it in the classroom. I think that collaboration amongst um, professional colleagues is critical. Um, it not only kind of um, allows the team to be able to kind of distribute the workload in terms of work that needs to be done, but it also allows the team to be able to to kind of feed and feed off of and utilize each other's expertise in different areas to build a PBL unit. So for example, we've worked with social studies teachers, history teachers um, in the United States and really worked with grade level teams where we have high school teachers working together or fifth grade elementary teachers working together. And they uh, kind of collaboratively develop a question for a unit, you know, a focus of the unit. But then they're able to kind of distribute different tasks in terms of developing the unit itself, whether some go and gather, are gathering resources and helping create the resources that are, that are designed for their particular students. Some others may be thinking more about the assessment and culminating activity and working on that. Still others may be looking at um, how, to, how to sequence and, and provide that, the information for students in a digital format or those kinds of things. So not only are the, idea, the, the generation of ideas useful in terms of collaboration, but also the actual work that needs to be done to develop it is, can, is very beneficial if you have collaborative teams. And it kind of builds that strength among peers so that you're working with your colleagues on a project that's really meaningful that, that hopefully you're all going to have a stake in because you're all going to be teaching this in the future. Right, that's good. One of the major benefits of project-based learning, PBL, is that uh, students are grappling with authentic types of problems that they may, that they, that they will encounter in the future. That it's not some kind of abstract activity that they're doing where they really have difficulty seeing the relevance or the meaning in what they're doing. So students are not only in terms of in terms of uh, of the benefits of PBL. They're not only engaged in kind of an authentic problem. They're um, they kind of buy into it because it's meaningful to them, because they really see how this really means something to my everyday life, or I can see where I might be able to use this in the future. The other benefit is that typically with the culminating activity or assessment that the students are required to do, they're having to do some kind of presentation and defense of whatever the problem is that's associated with the unit. And so that kind of ratchets up the expectations and they're doing something that they see people do. You know, people present all the time. People, people provide information and then have to defend you know, a potential solution all the time. They're seeing that. So once again, it gets back to the relevance that they're seeing. It's like, it's not some arbitrary type of assessment like a test that I'm taking. This is something that I have to, yeah, I have to spend some time doing because I know that I'm going to have to present this myself. And so that adds to the engagement and adds to the relevance to the student.